Today we're going to be talking about direct variation. Direct variation and slope are very similarly related. So we have two pieces of vocabulary here. Uh, the first one, direct variation. So what is direct variation? Direct variation is a relationship where there are two variables. When one variable changes, the other variable changes in proportion to the first. The formula that's used for direct variation is this one right here. y equals kx. Now the, the constant the, for the constant of variation is the rate that one variable changes compared to the other. The constant of variation is k. k is basically like a slope or if y changes then x is going to change as much as k does. So there are a couple of main points. Again the direct variation equation is very important. y equals k times x. k is our constant of variation x is just an any point on the x-axis, y is, any, is a particular point on the y-axis. So the graph of y equals kx is always, always passes through the origin of 0, 0. It is very important that it, any direct variation equation always passes through the origin of 0, 0. If it does not pass through the origin of zero, zero, then it is not a direct variation equation. Now we have the two graphs at the bottom. Um, if we graph uh, and if we have a line that's sloping upwards from left to right, that is positive. So from left to right, it's sloping upwards. So that's a positive direct variation. Now, if it's going from left to right and it's going downwards, then it is a negative direct variation. So left to right, if it's sloping downwards, it's a negative direct variation. So now we have a graph, and we need to name the constant of variation and the slope. We are given uh, the equation y equals negative 4x. And then we have a graph right here where it goes through 0, 0, so we know it's a direct variation, and we're given a point, 4, comma, negative 1. We are trying to find what the constant of variation and, the, and what the slope is. So let's look at the first one. What is the constant of variation in this equation? The constant of variation in this equation is negative 4. It's already basically given right here for us. Now, I want to figure out what's the slope. So remember from previously, when we find slope, that's equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But now we're only given one point. We have negative 1 comma 4. But we need two points for this. So remember, What's the point that would that always have that we always goes through when we have a direct variation? It always goes through zero comma zero. It always goes to the origin. So that's always going to be our second point. So what we could do, uh, let's just see here. So we have y two minus y one, but let's just set it up like this. What is four minus zero and negative one minus zero? So if we do that, 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. Negative 1 minus 0 is equal to negative 1. So our slope, if we simplify this, is going to equal negative 4. So our slope is also going to be negative 4. Don't we realize that the constant of variation and the slope, aren't they the same thing? So that's a quick and easy way that you can check to see if the constant variation and slope are the same. So now it's your turn. 
I want you to find the constant of variation and the slope in this equation, as in this graph as well. Um, pause the video, unpause the video when you're ready to see what I've done. Alright, so if we have uh, this equation, y equals 1 half x, and then we have this graph, and we have a point of 6 comma 3. Now we have to find the slope and we have to find the constant of variation. So what is, first off, what's the easiest thing that we can do? We can find the constant of variation because we have y, remember y equals kx, k is equal to the constant of variation, so our one-half is our constant of variation. So our slope which we learned in the previous example, our slope is the same thing as constant of variation, so the slope is one half. If you want to check that out just to make sure, remember we have six comma three, and then the other point that we have is zero zero. So what's the change in y? We have three minus zero, and 6 minus 0. So what is 3 divided by 6? That can be reduced down to 1 half. So our slope, if we, if we do work it out, it's the exact same thing. So slope, constant of variation, the exact same thing. Alright, so now we're going to figure out how to graph a direct variation. Uh, this is a main point, so please pause the video and write this down. Alright, step 1. Write the slope as a fraction. Remember, if we are given the slope of 5, how do we write 5 as a fraction? Always write any whole number, 5 over 1. Second step, graph the point. Because remember, in every direct variation, the line always goes through the origin of 0, 0. Step 3, from 0, 0, you need you to move to the slope. For that, for that, what I mean is if we have 5 over 1. When we talk about slope, there's this little saying. It's called rise over run. So in this case, from 0, 0, we would move up 5 because we would rise up 5, and then by run, we would move to the right 1. Since this is a positive 1, we would move to the right 1. If it is negative 1, we'd move it to the left 1. But this is positive, we'd move it to the right 1. I'll show you more examples once we uh, in the next slide. So in step 4, once we have our point 0, comma 0, and then we have another point, which would be at 5 comma 1, we would draw a line connecting the points, and there you go. There's our graph for the direct variation. So now what we want to do, we want to graph y equals 2 thirds x. We are, we, so we know that we're supposed to find our slope. Our slope, and we're supposed to write in a fraction form. We remember that slope and direct variation are the same thing. Or slope and the yeah, direct or the constant of variation are the same thing. So our slope is two thirds. Second thing, go to point zero zero. All right, so there's our point. Now we start at zero zero. Remember that slope is rise overrun. In this case we rise to run 3. So from here we rise to 1, 2, and we run 3. We run to the right 3. 1, 2, 3. We make our point right here. Now we've made our two points. Make a line that extends beyond. We always draw the two arrows showing that it's going to be a, an extending line. So now 
we have our graph of y equals two-thirds x. So now I want you to try it. Pause the video and graph y equals negative 5x. Remember our steps? So pause the video, unpause it when you're ready to see what I've done. All right, first thing. We have y equals negative 5x. So what is our slope? Remember, slope and our direct variation are the exact same thing. So we have a negative 5. But we need to write that as a fraction. So we have negative 5 over 1. Second step, graph is 0, 0. There we go. Third step, start at 0, 0. And we must move toward to the slope. So remember, our slope is a rise over run. Now remember, now look at this. We have for our rise is a negative 5. So from here, we start at 0, 0, and we're going to go down since it's a negative number. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and run to the right 1 because it is a positive 1. 1 right here, so we're going to put our point right here. Next thing, draw the lines. And this shows that it's a negative slope. So this is our graph for y equals negative 5x. So now what we're going to do, we're going to solve for a variable. We have, we are given a couple things. We have y equals negative 11. We're given that x is equal to 6. Now we want to find x when y equals 44. I have a couple steps for you to write down, which will help you out. I highly recommend writing these down. We're going to go through them. So, first step, find the slope. Now, remember, in this direct variation uh, graph, there's always a point of 0, 0. And what's the other point that they give us? The other point that they give us is 6, comma, negative 11. These points are already right here. They give it to us, so we can just make that into a, a, a coordinate point. So now, find the slope. So if we have the change in y, so if we have negative 11 minus 0 and 6 minus 0, that is equal to negative 11 over 6. I always recommend leaving this, leaving slope as a fraction. So this right here, I'm perfectly fine with that slope. Second step, write the equation. The equation I'm talking about is our direct variation equation. So our direct variation equation is y equals slope, which is negative 11 over 6 x. So this, write the equation, this is what I'm talking about. y e equals negative 11 x. Now, step three, plug in what you know. So what have they given us? We are trying to find x when y is equal to 44. So we know y is equal to 44, so we're going to plug that in for y. I'm going to rewrite it. So we know y equals 44, so 44 is equal to negative 11 over 6x. Now we just have our one-step equation. When we, when we solve through this, we have to multiply by a negative 6 elevenths, multiply by the reciprocal, so these cancel out. All we're left with on the left is an x. We write 44 as 44 over 1. If we simplify, 11 and 44, the greatest common factors are 11, so this can be a 1, this could be a 4. So negative 6 times 4 is equal to a negative 24, and 1 times 1 is equal to a 1. So x is equal to negative 24.
And this is our final answer. So now what I want you to do, I want you to try this. Remember we have our couple steps. Um, I want you to find x when y is 18, and you're given these two points. Y, and y is equal to 6, x is equal to 10. Pause the video, try this one, unpause the video when you're ready to see what I've done. Alright, so first thing, remember, find the slope. We always have two points, we always have 0 comma 0, and 10 comma 6. Since they're already there, might as well put into a, a point. So, so we have 6 minus 0 over 10 minus 0. So 6 minus 0 is 6, 10 minus 0 is 10. Remember, must reduce, simplify it as much as possible. So 6 and 10, the greatest common factor is 2. So if we divide those by both by 2, we have 3 fifths. So 3 fifths is what our slope, our slope is going to be. So next thing, write the equation. y equals 3 fifths x. Next thing, plug in what you know. We know that y is equal to 18. So we're going to plug that in. 18 is equal to 3 fifths x. Now, solve for x. We have our one-step equation. So we have to multiply by the reciprocal of 5 thirds. Multiply the reciprocal of 5 thirds on the right side as well. So 5 thirds and 3 fifths, those cancel out, and all we have left is x on the right side, left side. Right, 18 as a fraction, 18 over 1. Now if we simplify, 3 goes into 18 6 times. So multiply straight across, 5 times 6 is 30. 1 times 1 is 1. If we simplify that, 30 is equal to x. Slope and the constant of variation are the same. Direct variation graphs always go through 0, 0. Direct variation equation is y equals kx.